In this video you'll get an overview of different means of analysis that you can effectively apply with inside the Ecotech environment. We'll take a look at zone calculations, surfaces and analysis grid. So we'll take a look at thermal versus non-thermal zone, directional arrows, overshadowing and adjacencies, surface calculations, how to manage data, how to do subdivision, and we'll take a look at the analysis grid, how to set up and manage data. But inside the Ecotech environment, there's really three main means of analysis that you can apply to your design. You can do zone calculations, surface calculations, and calculations on your analysis grid. So what I have here is a thermal model. And if you go to the visualization settings, you can put on the, the zone color to see the different spaces. And if we go to zone management, you will see that all of these zones are marked as thermal zones. This means that they will be a part of the calculation if they are turned on and are not freeze. We can do zone calculations, calculating the interior design conditions of the spaces, looking at heating, cooling loads, temperatures, etc. So first thing we need to do is go to zone management, specify the interior design conditions, thermal property, what kind of system, the comfort band, and make sure that the different volumes of the interior space floor area is calculated correct. Another thing you should make be aware of is that the directional arrow should point the, the right way and if you go to selection information you should make sure that the relation between the window and um, the wall are calculated correctly. To really make sure this is the case mark all your objects before doing any kind of simulations and click these two here base plane equation automatically fix links and say OK and you'll see that hitting the wall now it has updated the surface area and exposed area in relation to the wall window ratio. We can also do zone we can also do surface calculation of our proposals or design, just having a simple form looking at things like radiation, shadows, etc. To enable the simulation that we have done, we can go to the display settings, scroll to the bottom and say display object attributes. And we're now able to look at total radiation for this specific simulation here or total direct radiation etc. We can also change the way that we look to display text values, show vectors or colors. So really for this simulation here we only have one measuring point per surface. So sometimes we'll need to go in and we can subdivide the surfaces that we have in here. So I just want to turn off my context and then I can go to select by orientation, say right, and I go to modify, say surface subdivision and make more measuring points. Let's say 250, align with the current display, create as children, trim to bit object extent. Okay, so what you'll see now is that we have really subdivided and made a lot of more measuring points to be more accurate in things like uh, radiation. The last very used way is to use our analysis grid to display things like wind simulations on the exterior spaces or sunlight hours for the specific site focus and we're able to go to grid management and go to man manage data and just click analyze data to export the data to excel and use the data there so if in this case here we have a 2d grid displaying the amount of sunlight hours hitting the specific site focus here and we're able to manipulate this in uh, multiple ways looking at Contour lines, hitting, show average value, which can only be displayed in uh, the 3D editor. So we can do a full 3D volumetric grid and can really do a lot of cool things with the analysis grid with inside Ecotech. So this is really the three main things that we can do. We can look at zones, doing zone calculations. We can look at surface calculations and we can do calculations on the grid, which can be displayed for the outer surfaces or as grids for things like daylighting within inside a space.